everybody, it's Catherine. Welcome to my channel where we enjoy all things product, beauty, and fragrance. As being early January 2022, I want to go over some of the empties that I accumulated last year, products that I used up, let you know if I replace them or if I'm just gonna let them go. Also some fails, some purchases that I made that I either returned or wish that I could have returned. So to sum it up, this video is going to be recycle, replace, return, or regret. So let's get into it shall we a lot of these I have I either already replaced or will be replacing in the near future we'll just go through one by one and I will try to keep like items together as much as I can so let's start off with body washes a lot of these are body products because honestly I have so many products that I don't really use a lot of things up. I don't think I use any makeup up this year, but a lot of body products. First off, Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Body Wash. I went through at least one of these already halfway through the replacement. If you're not familiar with Sol de Janeiro, you should be. It's this delightful, creamy, coconutty, nutty island uh, breeze type body wash. Love it. It's slightly hydrating but doesn't leave a residue on your skin body wash wise way cleanser what i envision heaven to smell like very light very breezy very feminine just a delight of a body wash already replaced and in my shower one of the first videos ever that i did bliss lemon and sage sophie suds body wash love this light citrus like true lemon smell love it not replaced yet, but will be. Again, Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Body Scrub. Went through one of these. I went through an Anise uh, Walnut Scrub. Love that. Did not replace it, but will be. Uh, and Way St. Bart's Body and Scalp Scrub as well, which I would love to replace, but it's a limited edition item and I'm still trying to find it as that Sephora and Way itself are both out darn okay we're gonna move on to hair first for hair I'd say a must-have in any person's hair care product collection is Orbe royal blowout spray I use this also as a detangler but before I I get out of the shower wash my hair before I style my hair I apply this it works as my detangler and then a bit of a heat protectant and um, just spray on mid shaft to ends it says however like I said I use that as a detangler so I apply it to my roots too uh, this is probably my most often replaced product as that I do use it so often. Next would be Kerastase Genesis K Fortifying Serum. I enjoyed this while I used it. I didn't see, I won't say I used, I noticed marked difference in my hair. The thing with hair products I always think though is it's like, okay, even if I don't see the immediate reaction of using it, it's like, what would my hair have been like had I not used it? So that's, that's the, the hiccup I find with hair products, really knowing how much difference it makes in your hair as that, you know, like you, like I said, you wouldn't see the effects had you not used it to compare, to accurately compare the two. I probably won't be replacing this one. I got it mainly to uh, maintain my hair from breakage to help it to grow out longer. I don't think I'm going to replace this one. Next would be the Kerastase Initialis Advanced Scalp and Hair Concentrate. This is the second or third one I purchased of this. Uh, I did replace it and I will keep replacing it. I think it does help to keep my hair healthier and stronger. So I will keep using this one. Next would be Grande Hair Enhancing Serum. Honestly, I, it's supposed to help you have, like it does with your lashes or your brows, help you to have thicker, and healthier looking hair, I didn't really notice a difference. You're supposed to apply it every night on dry hair and it made my hair look funky. So um, didn't super enjoy this. I did use it to completion, won't be replacing it. I did go through and replace Orbe Volume Shampoo as well as the Orbe Gold Lush Shampoo. Those are ones I just replaced and put back in my showers. I had a couple trial sizes of the Christophe Robin Sensitive or Oily Scalp Salt Scrub. I used those up and bought the whole thing. I also went through and repurchased the Christophe Robin Shade Variation Mask in Blonde Pure. I use this once a week as well as kind of my weekly routine. I make sure to use this once a week and this once a week, not at the same time. Two must-haves in my toolbox of product. One last thing for body, 
the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub, which uses 10% AHA for sensitive skin to get rid of the unsightly like chicken skin type bumps that you might get on your arms or your legs. KP, I, I'm more than positive that it's for keratosis polaris, which is which is a condition that causes like rough patches or pimple-like bumps, which is actually a buildup of keratin or protein that blocks your uh, follicle and causes this acne or rough bump-like texture to the skin. Really enjoyed that. It does have not the best smell. Uh, I would equate it to baby formula or even, sorry for sensitive stomachs, but what babies do after they drink their formula. Yeah, it's not the best smell, but again, where I use it, on my arms and then my legs, I'm not really smelling it too much. The smell doesn't stay with you. It doesn't stay on your body. It was fine for me to use. I also have the, which I used up, so it's another one, but my Pure Skin Face Cleanser. Now this, although it was great for my face, it washed my face, I did feel like it cleansed me very well. It didn't bother my sensitive skin as that it is fragrance-free, allergy-tested, hypoallergenic. However, it also had that smell, and since it was right in my face, up close and personal, it bothered me a little bit more as a facial soap. If you're scent sensitive, something to keep in mind. Moving on to other skincare products, I went through my antioxidant Hydromist by Dermalogica, which was supposed to help to fight free radicals in terms of like UV damage. If you want more information on that, please watch my other video on UV damage and how to protect your skin from all this iPad computer blue light exposure that our skins are having, that our skin is having lately. However, I wasn't super impressed with it. It had a nice Dermalogica herbally smell, not something I have to have, so no, I didn't replace this guy. Another more luxury skincare product that I used up was my Or Rouge YSL Eye Cream. I really enjoyed this. I tend to have severely dry under eye areas. I'm constantly looking for a very hydrating emollient eye cream that's going to actually hydrate this area, I have yet to find it in all honesty. I try the thickest creams possible and I still don't feel like I ever really completely hydrate my under eye area. If you guys have any ideas, please comment them below because I would love to find a product that works. This was like $250. It was good, but again, didn't completely solve the problem. If you need a severe amount of hydration, probably not the best product for you. If you're dry, it might work for you. I really enjoyed it. There was nothing wrong with it. It just wasn't, it didn't solve the problem for the amount of money that it cost. Next would be my La Mer, the Concentrate. I did replace it. I love this. I think it does a good job with my skin. Um, it has anti-aging benefits. It does have that La Mer smell, which is a slight herbal smell, but kind of a fresh herbal smell. I think it also works as a good makeup primer. It has kind of a silicone feel to it. I don't use a ton of it. I usually apply cheek cheek and then forehead area. I think it works as a good primer. I think it is a good like helping to repair, helping to repair the skin barrier. Uh, to protect my skin from free radical damage. Lastly, in terms of skincare products is my Bioderma Micellar Water. Really love this. I think it's a great toner. You can use it on your eyes. It's a good makeup remover. It's great for sensitive skin. It's a makeup removing micelle solution. So yes, I will be replacing this guy. That is it for uh, skin care, hair care, and body care. And now we're moving into makeup. Makeup is always a rough one for me because I want to love everything and a lot of times like I'm loyal and faithful to a product line but yet I use a product that just didn't cut it for me. This is nothing negative about the brands themselves. These are all excellent brands or I wouldn't have bought the product to begin with. It's not necessarily there's anything wrong with the product itself. It's that it didn't work for me and my skincare. I listened to one lady this morning talk about how Powder No Powder by Dior didn't work for her and I love it on my skin. It really just depends on your own personal preferences and skincare and what works for you may not work for someone else. Don't take this personally if you're loyal to a product and I mention it here. Without further ado, Westman Atelier Foundation, their foundation stick. I'm not a huge foundation stick fan. I thought maybe I've noticed more of a change lately in my skin being that I live in Minnesota now as opposed to Chicago. So I tried the Westman Atelier foundation stick. I wasn't really in love with it. I felt like it got kind of cakey on my skin. 
skin. You could see it on my pores. It just looked kind of chalky. So I wasn't super impressed, so I did return that. I do love their blush sticks. I do love their contour sticks. I intend to try more of their products. Their Pip Squeak lip balm I love. I just, the foundation just didn't work for me. Next, we have Natasha Denona. I need a nude glow highlight. I just don't think it's the right shade for me. It was a champagne and I feel like it just, it looked like I had a highlight on. It didn't give me a glow. It didn't give me a sheen. It just looked like I put makeup on and I just don't look like that look. So I wasn't super in love with this one. We'll mark that as regret. Next, again, a regret. Love Tom Ford. I love their quads. There is nothing wrong with the formulation of this. It was purely the colors. I loved the colors on line. However, on me, not so much. And this is the Pretty Baby Quad. This color down here is what I purchased the quad for. It's like this purple, but has like a green iridescence to it. The other colors in this palette are just too dark for me. They're just too bold for me, bottom line. In my opinion, my preference. Nothing wrong with the product, nothing wrong with the shadows themselves. It's purely the colors. Another regret, this is Guerlain's Golden Bee Face Powder. I saw so many reviews on this where people just gave it glowing reviews. Uh, notice the pun. They said it just gave a buffed shimmer to the skin, a buffed glow. On me, I felt like it just looked chalky. It just looked chalky. It looked like I had a layer of light powder on my skin, and again, I just don't like that look. It did have the Guerlain smell to it. I love Guerlain face products. I love how the Guerlain face products smell. However, their makeup, um, I don't enjoy the fragrance as much. I love Guerlain, but this product, the Guerlain Meteorites, as much as I wanted to love it, I just couldn't because it just didn't look right on my skin. Maybe it was just this Golden Bee, light revealing pearls of powder that didn't work. Maybe a different shade of it would work well for me, but either way, but at this point, it is a regret. That is it. That is my empties and my, my regrets, my rebuys, recycles. I don't even remember my four my four R's that I was titling this video with. But anyway, that's that's it. So I hope this video was able to help you a little bit if you were contemplating purchasing something or trying something yourself. Again, as I said, all my opinion, all my preference. Please, if this video was helpful to you, please make sure to hit subscribe and join my family, my community of fellow product, beauty, and fragrance lovers. And that being said, you guys, what products have you purchased that you absolutely love that you have to have or products that you purchased that didn't work for you? I'm sure that there's members of my community. I know a couple for sure that have tried a, a vast amount of different products and have expertise on certain products that, you know, we let's share. We're a community, we're a family, let's share our experiences with each other and um, really help each other out. Not enough of that in this world, in my opinion lately, is really helping each other out. So let's, let's do it as best that we can through social media. Make sure to hit the like button, it really helps me out. It helps promote my video to other viewers like yourself who enjoy content like this. Appreciate you all, love you all. Thank you so much for viewing. This is one of my favorite things to do is to make videos and feel like I'm talking to you guys because I know many of you comment back and we get a conversation going and I just get really excited and I just really enjoy that. So love you all, appreciate you all, and I will see you all soon. Love you, bye-bye. Um, garbage is here, if you can hear that beeping.